Assalamu alaikum, this is Samia from Sunna Living and today I'm talking about my fall favorites. So the new year is already here, uh, really exciting. I don't really celebrate it or do anything special for it. If you do, that's awesome. If you have any idea for what living in the desert feels like, I think you will appreciate how much I'm enjoying the weather right now. The weather is cold, it's wintry, you know, it's nice. I can actually go outside and I don't have to die while I'm doing it. So it's pretty fantastic. And so I thought this was the perfect time to make a fall favorite video. Um, I don't normally make videos. I think I've only made like one or two before. I think it was only one, uh, but I haven't made it in a while, but I thought, hey, let's just come back because I have some things to share. And the first thing I'm gonna share with you in this favorites video is something that you probably noticed on my lips. Yes, I don't wear lipsticks normally. Um, actually, uh, I have made a video about makeup and that I don't wear makeup and I'm very happy to not wear makeup. Now, one of the reasons why I stopped wearing makeup was because of toxic ingredients in it. And I just took my little stash about a couple of years ago and I tossed it and I have not looked back. Uh, but actually this company came up on my Instagram feed, Claudia Nur Cosmetics. And I ordered a lip sampler set from her and I'm still using it. And once it runs out, that's when I'm gonna order the new ones. And this one is still going strong. I don't wear it every day, but you know, whenever I want to, I wear it. And so for this video, I wanted to wear it because I wanted to show you. This is the coral color and her lipsticks are pretty fantastic. Non-toxic as I could find them. I'm quite pleased with their ingredients. So she actually has an area of stuff, a lot of makeup and lip shades and eyes and I don't know, all this kind of stuff. I have not bought anything else except for the lips because that's what I was looking for. And I probably will consider looking for something for the eye, but really like... I wear glasses and so it has always been one of those things that, you know, it hides. So I don't know. So at this point, I'm not wearing anything on my face except for on the lips. And so that's just how I roll and I like it. So her lip sampler sets come in a set of five so you can play around with any lip shades and see if you like how it feels, how it looks, and if you like the color and how it is different from traditional conventional lipstick. Uh, I wore it for four hours straight and it was fine for an event I did afterwards. I don't know because I was tired and I fell asleep. I don't know how long it lasted. But I mean, for those four hours, I feel that it was comfortable and it was fine the way I wanted it to. This is not a sponsored video. Nothing in the video is sponsored. Everything I have bought for my own money, of my own will, and because I liked it and I saw it and I found it. However, Claudia has given my viewers a discount code. So if you use Sunna Living, you will get a discount. So if you're gonna buy them, use that code and let me know what you think about it. And the second thing, continuing with the theme on the face is actually skincare. I talked about how obsessed I was for a very long time. Skincare has been something big for me ever since I was in college. I think it started in college. I have been eyeing these serums on living libations for a very long time. Uh, living libations items tend to be a little bit expensive anyway and these serums were a little bit over the top of something I was comfortable with. But I said, I'm 30 and I'm almost 31 in a few days depends on when this video is posted and so I think I need to start doing a little extra to my skin And so I ended up ordering these two serums as my birthday present to me as my birthday present to me and so um, I am so in love with them. I can't begin to tell you. Okay, so the first one is Royal Rose with COQ10 Serum. And both of these are especially if you have any aging or if you have any, you know, like a skin damage or sun damage or things like that. You know, it really smooths the skin out. So I, I clean my face with Best Skin Ever, uh, same company, Living Libations. And then I also moisturize with a little squirt of that and like a drop or even two of these serums and that's it i don't need them anymore and so the royal rose cq10 is actually or cool q10 whatever you pronounce it is actually really really good feel in the morning when i put it on is just like both of them super hydrate your face like I put it on and I'm like, my face is super hydrated. With the CoQ10, I do like it, but my favorite from these two, so these two are really good. My favorite from them is the Cell Serum. This one, I the first time I put it on, I went to my husband and I said, Do you notice something on my face? Like, I mean, I don't know if you all do it, but I do every time I try something, I'm like, do you notice it? You know? And so I looked at him and he looked at me and said, Oh, your face looks different. It looks like 
more smooth or something. And that is very true. Like, I feel my face is super immediate hydration when I put it on. Like, it feels like it doesn't need anything else at all. And so, this cell serum is very, very good. I think from both of these two, this is my favorite. So, if you're going to get one, start with this. And then you can get the other one later on. Because, like I said, they're a little bit expensive. But these serums are really worth it. All right, and that is the end of anything that has to do with the skin. And then next, I'm going to move to my favorite part, which is food. I have found some great things to eat during this time. In the fall, I have discovered, uh, thanks to Instagram, alhamdulillah, I have discovered a lot of new things to eat. The first thing I want to talk about is the kite hill cheese. I mentioned that in my recent vlog that I did, um, and I'll link that one for you. Uh, I prepared that with the crackers that I like. but. Cheese, you know, I, I don't eat dairy. I've mentioned this before. I am dairy free for health reasons. And so I, you know, cream cheese, something that I always enjoyed. I'm not gonna deny it. It was one of my favorite things that I would eat, but I always avoided it because it's really not healthy for you, right? In general. And so after I couldn't eat dairy, I found this and actually the, the nutritional value for that is not that bad. It has xanthan gum in it. This is the only thing in this one which I don't like ingredient wise. Uh, otherwise, it is actually really, really good. And there's another one that I want to try. It's called Tree Hill uh, Cheese. And I just haven't been able to, but there also are dairy free cheeses. The next thing I want to show you is pasta. So again, grain-free eating means you can't have regular pasta. And I love pasta. It's a carb that we all need. And so I was very excited to find Banza spaghetti. I already used this one. This is like, I don't know how many of my packs. But I use this actually. I just You just boil it regularly from 8 to 10 minutes. And then you just rinse it. I think you have to uh, rinse it before you enjoy it. And so, but yeah, so I just rinse it and I have the sauce in the pan already and I just dump it in there and put it all together and it's actually really, really tasty. Good thing about it is that I have very few ingredients. Um, again, the xanthan gum is still there. So obviously what I like to do when I eat something is I don't want to eat the same thing multiple times. So I probably won't eat this with something else. However, this works um, really well. And it's really tasty. Another thing I found is um, my recent found, but I really, really, really like it. Yeah, I talked about it in my blog post. I talked about it in the vlog that I did when I was packing for the trip. So this stuff is actually really good. The ingredients on it are awesome. And I love how many different kind of mushrooms it has. The bad thing about it is I think it's a little bit too expensive for you know, its size. It only has 15 servings, so it doesn't have a lot. But hey, if you can afford to get this regularly, I think it's fantastic. And they have different ones. So they had Focus, and the, another one I wanted to get was the one that had Energy, uh, or Beauty, I think, that was in it. The, uh, they were, had other two ones too, but they had natural flavors, and you know, I don't need that. And so I wanted the Beauty one. And so maybe after this one runs out completely, then I will get the Beauty one. The reason why I really like you know, this kind of stuff is because I have personally benefited from herbal medicine and herbal approaches. And so when I see something that's herbal that is going to give, you know, a boost to your health, I jump for that stuff. And on the same note, I'm going to talk about a soup that I learned. Uh, so my husband was uh, feeling ill and with the cold and stuff like that. And it was already getting to the point of like, you know, like he was feeling bad. Like he couldn't go to work that day kind of bad. And so I did multiple things. The first thing I did was make elderberry syrup. If you don't know about it, I suggest you Google it. You just use elderberries, dried, and then you, or you can use fresh, um, and you use honey. And basically it's like a little reduction, I think they call it. I don't know. Elderberry syrup, they call it. I don't know. But you make it, and it's very delicious. It's sweet because of the honey, but if you're using raw honey, that has great value. And I dose it up with that in addition to the soup. And that's the one I want to talk about today. That soup has become my favorite. It's a vegetable soup. I try to add whatever I can into it. And I'm actually going to do a blog post about this. It should already be up on sunnaliving.com. And so when you do check it out, comment on it and let me know what you think about it. But it has really good ingredients. And... Food is really good to heal the body. And that's what we did when my husband was sick. 
made the soup, elderberry syrup, all of it, and it he healed up so fast. And actually, I've made that soup uh, one or two times since then when I was feeling a little bit iffy, and that has always helped me. And so I recommend that soup and the ingredients to make it. I think it's going to be fantastic, and you're going to love it. The second thing I want to talk about is juice. So I have been making this specific juice, and I've been drinking it every week. And so far, it is very good. What's in this juice is beets carrots, spinach, ginger, turmeric, apple. So these are the ingredients in this soup, not uh, in this juice. Uh, this juice actually was recommended um, by a family member who was going through chemotherapy. And so when she told me about this, I said, hey, I'm gonna make it. She uses it with kale. I do not eat brassicas as well, and kale is one of them. And so I substituted with spinach. And so that's what I do, do this, I do this and I drink it like two times a week and I make it every week and so far it has been good. I mix it around with using, you know, different kind of beets. You know how you have colorful beets, so I may use those. Um, or I mix it with different carrots because you have colorful carrots or only red carrots or whatever. So I mix it around with di different kinds of vegetables, but essentially the formula is the same. And this is the last food favorite of this fall and it is a water keeper. So this is by the brand Kavita and actually I don't have any specific preference. I have everything I need in order to make it by myself. I just have not made it yet. Um, I think I'm going to make it at the end of January. That's what it looks like. But this is my favorite flavor, lemon and cayenne. Personally, I really like this flavor. Uh, what I really like about water kefirs is that sometimes you just want that extra special drink on you. And I just want to drink something special. I mean, I don't drink Coke or I don't drink any sodas or anything. And I don't really like juice. And so water kefir has probiotics in it. It is a fermented drink but it tastes really, really good. It replaces soda really, really well. And so I'm looking forward to making it by myself. If you're going to buy it, you can look at it in supermarkets and it has different kind of flavors. And so it has like blueberry flavors or whatever. It has many different kind of flavors and you can check them out and play with them. Lemon and cayenne is my favorite. Um, there's a lemonade flavor, which is really good. There's like several of them and I really do enjoy it. I feel like uh, it does well with my digestion as well. And so I can't wait to make it. A water kefirs is something that I can't see myself not using. Ever. So moving on, the next thing I want to talk about is actually books and journals. And the first one I'm going to talk about, if you know me, then you guessed it, is going to be the Productivity Planner. I've talked about it in the How to Journal video and I will link that down below as well so you can check it out. I talk about exactly how I use it and how I use other journals. But the reason why I really want to talk about this, and this is my fall favorite, is because it has really benefited me. The reason why I'm making this video right now is because of that. And I can't believe you see my stash back there. Sorry about that. Um, okay. But um, actually, I really like this planner. This is the reason I'm making this video right now. It is the reason why my blog is active. It is, you know, one of the reasons why my Instagram is, uh, you know, really active. And the productivity planner has really helped me out. It helps me keep on track. And the reason what was happening was I had all these visions in my mind. Like, I know what I want to achieve in life. Like, I know what I want to do. But I just couldn't find the discipline and, you know, a method to do it. And what Productivity Planner did is kind of revealed the fact that I had it inside of me already how to do it. But I also want to, um, you know, uh, streamline it and make it happen basically. So uh, it lets you see your long-term goals and it allows you to break them down so that you can really make them realistic. And this is why I like this planner a lot and I recommend it. The next thing I want to talk about is a book. It's called Braving Wilderness by Brene Brown. If you are, I don't know, Brene Brown has, Brene Brown has been taken over. Like she is kind of everywhere where people are trying to find self-help kind of books. And Braving the Wilderness is really, really important. I, of course, listen to it in Audible. This is how I read my books. And I read this and I have to say it is really important for the times that we live in. The situation everywhere is kind of strange. Um, you don't know what to expect. Uh, you know, there's a lot of polarization, a lot of divisions in our country. And I mean, globally, there has been a lot of stuff going on as well. And so there's just a lot of things happening and she breaks it down. And she says that you have to be the person who has to brave the wilderness like that's the wilderness is 
what is how we should be right now how everyone should act right now is the wilderness the wilderness basically means it is out of your comfort zone it is to the unknown where you might not be liked where where your opinion might not be preferred or you might have to go out of your way in order to be on the right path and that is considered the wilderness in this book as far as i saw and so she tells you how to tackle that how the tools you need to survive it and and you know what you need to do in order to bring society back together at least in your own environment with your friends in your own self and you know um, if you are a Muslim, then you know that we are responsible for the changes within ourselves first before anything. Uh, we have to make sure we are on the right path. So we're always working on ourselves. We're always trying to change the way that we think and how we act. And so this book really encourages that and lets you know how to do it. And I like how to's. How to's help me figure things out someone has already built that wheel i want to use it i don't want to rebuild it you know and so i take that information and i really want to use it there's a lot of stuff in this book seriously it is a good read it is an enjoyable read um she has personal stuff in there um, and then she has you know scientific stuff in there but it's all really easy to understand and so i recommend it uh braving the wilderness by Brene brown and the last thing i want to tell about is that she was a gift to me you cannot find it anywhere because my friend made it and she knitted this um cap and actually um so uh, i live in the desert we didn't use it but i need this when we go on trips like um in december uh, we went on a trip to Texas and to New Mexico and those places are cold. I don't know about you, but I am used to our 70s and 80s and I'm going down there with like 30s and 40s Fahrenheit that is. And yeah, so that wasn't cool. And this is such a cute little hat and I love the buttons on it and actually it became my fault for it. As soon as she sent it to me, I got so excited because I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's special. She made it. And no one else can so you can't have it but i just want to share it with you how cool it is and on this wearable trend i want to talk about the hijab so i actually ordered a jersey hijab from oathijabs.com and i saw that thing and i was like oh my god i fell in love with it because it is so versatile i use it too much i was using it too much you know it's like have some versatility but i but the one that i had at that time was in tan or a cream tan color and it was like a perfect neutral color it works with everything and so far i'm also like wrapping myself with it all the time and then in this fall i said you know what samia you kind of need to move on from that and finally order a little bit more. and i got all jersey ones i got one that was viscose viscose is, is a good fabric it's very breathable but i feel like it gets wrinkly so quickly and i don't do well with wrinkles iron and me are not friends yes yeah, this is one of them i don't remember i think it's a mink color i think it was or rose gold or something like that um but it's really fantastic i bought it in neutral colors you know pinks and uh light browns and tans and seriously this is worth it like i have brought hijabs or scarves from other places islamic retailers as well as you know from target or anything like that and they just did not last long. They start looking bad after you wash them a couple of times. And they j it's just not a worthwhile investment. And so I really like this company. I think you guys should absolutely try it. If you're thinking about it, um, go for the jersey. That's like the first thing to try. And then you can go from there and see if you like different materials. And that was it. This is my fall favorite. It was a bit of things more food related. But that's how I roll. Food has changed a lot in my life recently and you know everything that comes in that has value and health I am all for that. So I hope you really enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Assalamualaikum.